not smell it? What is this enlightenment I hear talked about everywhere? I, Emmanuel Kant, will tell you. It is mankind, at last, at long last, I tell you, learning to question, learning to examine, learning to face the world for what it is, growing up. At last we are going to grow up. It is so hard to grow up. It is so easy, you see, to be lazy in your thought or to take the opinion of those guardians, self-appointed guardians of your thought. Do you know the ones? Your school teachers, your sergeant at arms, your prime minister, who will lecture you what to believe, what to think, so you don't know where to look. No, no, no! We at last are going to question. We're going to examine the world. We're going to wonder what is going on. We're going to have the courage to make mistakes and to learn from them. And more than that, we're going to talk to each other. We're going to share our knowledge. In this, it is as like as not, a great divide will open up between us, who will question, and everybody else who will be happy with their received knowledge. And is there any wonder? For everywhere you hear them, the self-appointed guardians of our ignorance, the guardians who say, don't question, just obey. Don't question, just pay your taxes, says the tax man. Don't question, just get on the parade ground, says the soldier. Don't question. Just read and believe, would say the journalist. And to all these people, I say, no, I will question. I will argue as much as I choose and when I choose. But you know, there is a second feature to our maturity, to us as mankind finally growing up. And is this, we can question as much as we like, but in the end, in the bitter end, we must conform. We must obey the rules. I ask you, what price the man who does not pay his taxes? If you do not pay the taxes, the state collapses. What price the soldier who in the middle of the battlefield stands up and says, Hang on, I've got a better idea! He'll be shot. More than that, he'll betray his battalion. Even if he's right, he would die. No, no, no! Our maturity lies in this. We agree to conform. And if this feels a hard thing to you, remember two things. Often the best people to enact a policy are not zealots, but those who find other voices to say. And also this, no generation has the right to dictate belief to who follows. We can always change our minds. Who then do you elect to be your government? I will tell you, not some vain charismacrat who rules by charisma, who will dictate to you your opinion, but those who will guard your right to choose. Those who will make up their own minds through listening to what we all are. These then I say you should govern. In this lies then our enlightenment. It is not a sudden process we'll get by sitting under a tree, but a gradual process. It will take centuries, decades even, years as we gradually learn. And be warned, you may lose it yet. This then is our process. We must, in the words of the wisest of modern monarchs, argue as much as we like, but in the end we obey. For it is in obeying your freedom lies. What is my freedom to act? Nothing. My freedom to act is merely my right to oppress you. No, no, no. Our true freedom lies in this and this alone. My right to discuss, to debate, to argue with you, to change your mind and your ability to change mine. Hold that and our enlightenment is secure. Lose it and all is lost.